It was about the beginning of September in the year 1664 when the news first reached us that the plague had returned to Holland. Some said it came from Italy, others from Cyprus or Canada. All that mattered was that the sickness was all over Amsterdam and Rotterdam. Had it arrived in England? The first confirmation came at the beginning of December. News quickly spread about the sudden death of two Frenchmen in Jewelry Lane. Their families denied any involvement of the plague, but two surgeons inspected the bodies. They confirmed what we all feared. This terrible event was not immediately followed by more new cases. After a month, the panic began to fade. Life started to return to normal, though many paid close attention to the parish records of deaths and burials. At first, they told a reassuring story. Deaths were being recorded at more or less their typical level for the time of year. Then we learned that there had been a large increase in burials in the parish of St Giles. The number for the final week of January was higher than any recorded since 1656. We all knew the significance of this. 1656 had been the year of the last plague. Then the weather got colder. Hope briefly returned. It ended when the warm weather came in April. Suddenly the number of burials increased dramatically, not only in St Giles, but in neighbouring parishes. The infection was spreading across the city. <laughs> 